మరి ఇంతకుముందు మనను పద్మ గారు ఇక్కడ టచ్ చేశారు మన గురించి మనం టచ్ చేశారు కాకుంటే బ్రెయిన్ టెక్నాలజీ కూడా మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ మన బ్రెయిన్ ఎలా కంట్రోల్ చేసుకోవాలి దాన్ని ఎలా వాడుకోవాలి ఎలా తీసుకెళ్ళాలి దిస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ది మోస్ట్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టెక్నాలజీ ఈ టెక్నాలజీని మీకు అందించడానికి ఆల్ ది వే ఫ్రమ్ బెంగళూర్ బెంగళూరు నుంచి వచ్చారు ఆల్ ది వే ఫ్రమ్ బెంగళూర్ ఓన్లీ టు ఏ గ్లాస్ ఆఫ్ వన్ అవర్ ఈ ట్రావెల్ టూ అవర్స్ బై ఫ్లైట్ ఎస్టర్డే నైట్ వచ్చారు ఈరోజు ఉంటున్నారు ఈరోజు నైట్ ఉంటే రేపు మార్నింగ్ రాజస్థాన్లో జైపూర్లో ప్రోగ్రామ్కి వెళ్తున్నారు వీ డోంట్ పే వన్ రూపీ ఆల్సో ఒక్క రూపాయి కూడా ఇవ్వమాలి మనకు వన్ రూపీ కూడా ఇవ్వం ఓన్లీ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ లవ్ అండ్ అఫెక్షన్ ఆన్ యూ ఈజ్ కేమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆల్ ది వే happy afternoon happy afternoon brain testing 1 2 3 brain testing not mic testing okay so let's play a small game before starting the program those who are in the top floor you should loudly say impact only top i want i want only one word impact Okay, Impact 2015. Impact. Wow, good, good, good. Who are sitting on the f- ground floor should say Vishakapatnam. Can you? I want one Vishakapatnam. No. <laughs> Only Vishakapatnam. Okay, once again, one, two, three. Okay, to the left hand side, who are sitting should say Jai Ho. no sound jai ho okay now i'll say one those who are in the top should say impact 2015 ground visakhapatnam to the left hand side jai ho let's start the music also music please i'm going to handle one topic which is very important for us brain technology don't google it there is nothing called as brain technology how to use brain in the technology okay can you find out some error in this particular slide what is wrong in this slide okay you have brain because you found out the error first should be alpha then beta then gamma delta etc okay let us see how the brain will work and how you can apply the technology how you can apply in the brain in technology okay finally i'll disclose how to get certified i am proud to say that i am certified for 33 international certifications i own 33 it technologies since 1998 and i am upgrading all the certification to the current date every 3 months i'll be writing one or two certifications okay so how i imparted this technology and what is the brain behind this let us see my name is oh yeah my name is naresh babu okay you can call me babu so let us see how the brain will work we'll take a journey to the brain inside the brain first and the foremost thing how many of you have brain here i can see only few very few i think only 60% of us have got brain okay do you have brain yes if you say yes if you say yes that means you have brain yes everybody has got brain without brain you cannot say yes also correct you need to have the brain to say yes you should also have the brain to say no you should know when to say yes when to say no somebody got a lakh of rupee per month as a salary i follow the same track somebody says go to pharmacy it is very good field somebody said go to commerce it's very good field you are interested in it and somebody says that take up commerce what would you say yes or no no if you miss to say no the lifetime you have to say no for many things 
that is very important question when to say yes when to say no for that you need to use brain so today i'll explain how the brain will work are you using brain yes the analysis says you are using only 10% of the brain we are using only 10% of the human brain 90% of the brain is not at all used to do any work to trigger any action you need five of them will be towards my right hand side five of them to the left hand side first of all appreciate them <laughs> only five to the right hand side five to the left hand side i need only 10 come 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 on okay i'll just take a moment to explain them and uh, this is a secret you know okay i'll reveal the secret now i'll reveal the secret now are you ready okay i'll take deep into your brain now let us see how it works just observe this carefully second second continue what is happening once again okay they are a bit slow now this team will be very fast good once again okay the secret is revealed this is how brain works you got anything here okay let me explain you i am the brain the very first thought if i get negative for example let us say my left hand side is a negative team okay the brain will hop to the next neuron with negative thought and it will chain up with negative 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 so let us say i am having fear to come on to the dias first one to one thought i am having fear i am afraid i can't speak my grammar is not good my english is not there it continues i am the first thought you are giving a shake hand to a negative thought now let us say i am very much courage i admire people i am happy let us say this is a positive thought just observe all this chain which is happening inside the brain will hop from one positive to another positive so second once again positive 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 fast fast once again it goes in this way negative fast fast once again once again once again negative you know that the brain works only in this way if you have the first thought as positive the next thought will chain up with positive thought if the first thought is negative and if you give energy to that particular negative thought it will chain up to the next negative thought everybody got this this is the secret of brain if you say that i am negative the next thought will join you saying that even i am negative and finally you land up in a problem with negative energy and it will create a cramp in your brain you will never do what you want to do this is a thought process so once again appreciate all the team members thank you very much thank you thank you thank you thank you so this is how brain works there are n number of neurons connected to each other n number of what neurons connected to each other every neuron will fire to the next neuron with the same thought so have that positive thought whenever you start thinking on any subject on any matter the brain goes and continues with the chain reaction okay so the power of first thought you realize the power of first thought so first thought can be changed from negative to positive if you have high level of energies you should know how to get that high level of energies 
there's a different topic altogether. You should know, you should go inside the brain and think and understand that you should not think. So the power of the brain is silence actually. So if you're in silent, you can listen. You can listen to yourself. You can listen to the world. But if you're not silent, you cannot listen to the world nor yourself. Okay? That silence is the energy for your brain. Now, make that first thought positive as I mentioned. If you have the first thought as positive, the last thought also will be positive. Okay. Now, you know that first thought will give you the chain of thoughts. Secondly, most of the leaders and most of the coach, guide, trainer, everybody will say that have a goal in your life. Have a goal in life. Do you have? Do you agree with this? Okay. How to have this particular goal? How the brain will work within this particular goal? I'll explain you. The power of the goal is dependent on power of your visualization. What happens in the brain when you visualize something? What happens in the brain? Let me take you through the experiment. Are you interested to do this experiment? Sure? I'm getting yes only few rows. If you say yes, I can continue. Okay, thank you. So the power of visualization is quite essential for you to get success. The path for success is power of visualization. Okay? How to visualize? Let me take you through that technology. As I mentioned, the brain has got thousands of neurons. Thousands of neurons. Every neuron is connected. Actually, if you know what is the neuron, if you study behind the neuron, both the neurons will not get connected physically. There is a gap between two neurons. If there's too much, I'll tell you in a simple way, one person to another person, you saw a gap here. So neuron has got that gap, but it will be a chain. In between these neurons, there is a chemical reaction which is happening. The space of this neuron is, is too scientific. But let me tell you one thing. If you visualize what all parameters you need to visualize, I'll explain you. For a moment, close your eyes. Just close your eyes. If you're serious about your brain, please close your eyes. Close your eyes. Be blank. Imagine a picture of rose. Imagine a picture of rose. Everybody got the picture? Just imagine the color, the background, the size, shape, texture, smell if possible, Slowly open your eyes. Okay. Everybody got a rose picture in the mind? Everybody? Okay, good. When you got the rose picture, in the brain, there is a specific area where the rose picture is retained. You're getting this? The rose picture is retained in the brain. There is a specific area in the brain. Now, you visualize the rose, and whenever I get an actual physical rose to you, the same area, there will be a chemical reaction in the synapses. In the same area, there will be a chemical reaction. So, what is the difference? If I get a physical rose to you, or if you visualize the rose, the reaction in the brain is same. You are getting the logic here? So what you visualize, the chemical reaction in the brain is same, and what you get the rose, the chemical reaction is same still. Got the logic? Okay. Whenever I get a rose, the same shells are triggered. Now, if I get a physical rose, 
what will be the difference? What will be the difference? If I get a physical rose, there are two to three parameters which is really different by visualization. What you think in mind is a picture of a rose and what you physically is having a rose. Now what is the difference between a physical rose and a imagination? Anybody can answer this? Nobody? Sorry? Size? Okay. Color? Okay. Color you can imagine. Size you can imagine. Size. Feeling. Okay. Feeling, touch, space, etc. Correct? Now, we can put three elements here. Time, space and action. So, what you imagine and what is reality, there are three differences. One is time. Time to get a physical rose is different from getting a rose into your brain. You got the rose picture instantly? Yes or no? Can you get a physical rose instantly? No, not at all. Correct? So, what is the time factor? Whenever you visualize, you need to define the time. If you define the time, the rose will appear practically. Practically to you. So, first factor which you impart when you visualize is time factor. Let me talk about time later in the next few slides. Next is space. What is space? The rose occupies some space physically. As you said, you can touch the texture. It occupies some space physical. So what does space indicate? When, where, and how is very important. So first is time. In which time, where should I get the rose? What is the occasion? That's very important. So first factor is what? Time. Second factor is space. Third is action. Any animal can also visualize. Law of attraction. How many of you heard of law of attraction? Raise your hands. Good, not bad. Law of attraction should follow by law of action. If you don't have a law of action, law of attraction is waste. That means, if you visualize every day a different picture in your mind, today morning I woke up, I want to become Bill Gates, yeah good, fantastic. Tomorrow morning I woke up, I want to become Narayan Murthy, still good, Indian, okay. Day after tomorrow you woke up and I want to become Sachin Tendulkar. So what is happening here? Your actions your visualization is not matching. So what you visualize, you have to keep up the time, space, and you have to start working on that. The action is very important. One problem which I have come across throughout my life is what I say I have to do. So ultimately, the day when you say that do and Imagine or say is same, you are the winner and probably you are a successful person because you have come here and you would, have, you would have achieved many certifications, many programs or many awards in your life and rewards also in your life. Go back and check that. How did you achieve that? Because you said and you did it. Isn't it? You said it and you did it. Okay. So why stop? Why delay? Start the visualization. Start this visualization. And whenever you are visualizing, imagine the biggest thing. Don't go in a smaller way. You can always imagine. Whenever you are imagining, have that clarity. There is a measurable imagination, measurable imagination, measurable goals. I need one or two, one volunteer who is physically fit. You should run. Any male, yeah boy, please come. How, how do you imagine, what is the strength of imagination, how do you measure it, and how do you overcome, okay? You can do a long jump, right? Yeah, long jump. Okay, you can stand here. 
Okay. Um, your good name? Sohail. Sunil. Sohail. Sohail. Okay, now Sohail will jump to the place where I will mark. Can you jump up to here? From there to here? Yeah? So, here only. So, claps please, encourage him. Jump. Good. Fantastic. Claps please, he's jumping. Your friend. Okay, go back. Yeah. So now, Sohail can jump up to here, this level. That was his imagination. But he can jump beyond that. Do you know that? Do you know that? Okay, now, if you encourage and if you believe, he can jump more longer than this. So now Suhail is going to jump here. So, he jumped more than what he believed, correct? But in the first phase, I said he is going to jump only one step ahead here. Because I set his mind, I programmed his mind that he should jump only to this level. But what was his capabilities? This was his capabilities. Correct? So we try only to 35 marks, passing score. We'll never aim for 100. Chalta hai, chalta hai. What is there? Pass ho gaya toh, I'll get something. We'll go move ahead. So, thanks for Suhail. You have more capacity than what you think. So, whenever you are measuring, don't make the goals small. Because your capability is more than you. Your capability is more than you. If you think and if you say that I am only this, you will be always only that. You will never reach the different dimensions of your life. Just break that. Break that logic, break that logic, break and break it. If you break that barrier, if you break that boundary, trust me, this hall consists of 1,600 members, 1,600 celebrities will come out from impact. <laughs> this is serious. So can you program your brain for time, space and action? Can you program? Very much. The brain is programmable, luckily. Okay? So for this big hardware, there is a small software here, which is called as brain. You can always program. So let us take a deep step towards three points and then move on to the certifications, because I would like to include certifications. That's a core outcome for this particular uh, no, session. So can you program? The answer is yes, you can program. Define your time. Don't derive your time. Define your time, otherwise time will take over you. Trust me, if you say that today evening what you're not doing, what you're not doing or what you're doing, if you're not decided, that means, that means you're not defined the time. Please understand the concept here. You are in present, but the road has to be decided. The road, the path which you take has to be decided. Today evening, 6 o'clock, where are you? If you are not decided, then you are not defined the time. My personal experience, over 22 years, I am writing a diary. Even today, I carry the diary. 22 years. I mention all the activities of the day from morning to evening. I sleep somewhere around 1 o'clock and get up at around 4 o'clock. Okay? So from morning, I'll schedule the entire day what I have to do. From 22 years. Okay? Today, you know what is the miracle which I can achieve, which I can explore always? Even if I don't write the checklist for the day, I'll get everything in mind. Once it is done, if I go and check the book, hey, I have done this already. This is just an experience. If you define the time, what you are doing for the day, then you can derive the time. If you don't derive the time without definition, then time will change you. You cannot change the time. So define your time, otherwise time will define you. And never say, 
the best beneficial people in the world are astrologers, Vastu, etc., etc. You know why? Whenever you are not confident, you will strongly believe what? Astrology, Vastu, etc., etc., correct? When you are a successful person, when you are going, building the career successfully, you will not see the astrology or some other activity. I am not denying that astrology is wrong or Vastu is wrong. Correct? So, that means you are not defined time, you are asking somebody to define the time or you are asking somebody to predict the time. Because you didn't define the time. Okay? Very important statement. I love this statement always. How many of you don't have time? Everybody has got time? I'll put it in the other way. Everybody has got time? Yes? Okay. Just read this. Have time for everything. Have everything in time. I love this statement always. Can you repeat this statement? Have time for everything. Have everything in time. So, if you say that, okay, your mother asked to get something from market. The first word which you will say is, I don't have time. Okay, you yourself, I want to go for health checkup. You may say that I don't have a time. Whenever you don't define a time, time will define you, definitely. When you are unhealthy, you have to go to health checkup. Correct? So have time for everything and have everything in time. Okay, along with the time, have that compass, direction. All the time, whichever you are spending for the day, as soon as you get up early morning, first say that, oh, thanks, I mean, oh God, thank you for your courtesy that I am live today. And what is the purpose of today? If you don't know what is the purpose of today, you will never know the purpose of life. Okay? That's very, very important statement. So, time with direction. It's not only the time. Time with direction. So, have that watch and have that compass. Next, first factor is time. Once you visualize, the second factor is the action and the space. Okay? So, do what you say and say what you do. Okay? So, do what you think and think what you do. And do until you die. Do until you die with dedication. This is very important. First is time. You define the time. Second is action. Space is already there for you. So, if you don't do what you think, you cannot achieve anything in your life. Okay? Now, we visualized, we know there are three factors for visualization and achieving the goal. Can you name them? Time, space, action. Yes, very perfect. If you maintain time, space, action with the goals, how to monitor the consistency in the goal? Most of them will give up if there is a problem. I have a problem in achieving some goals, I'll give up. So we should always maintain a consistency. If you want to maintain a consistency, you need to have the values carried always. You should always carry the value, carry the attitude, carry that attitude, carry that values throughout your life. Okay? So the operating system for brain is believe, believe yourself. If you believe yourself, you can believe the entire world. My designation in my company is not CEO, it is Chief Belief Officer. I always believe in me and I transform the belief system to others. Believe in yourself first. If you don't believe in yourself, from outside you can't force anybody to do something. It should come from source. Until you believe yourself, take the statement for the day, until you believe for yourself, you cannot move, say, let us say this podium to the other side if you don't believe. Belief is the key component for your brain. And as I mentioned, the carrier, the power for your brain is attitude. You should always carry the attitude throughout your life. Whenever you speak, whenever you do something, whenever you talk to somebody, 
This is, a, this is a very important case. Carry the attitude, carry that smile, carry the values whenever you speak. There is something called as T3. Anybody heard of T3? Transactional analysis, TA3. There are three rings in life. Three rings. Whatever I'm talking can come only from these three rings. One is parental ring. You can, you can speak always, oh, take care, good, be healthy, do this. That is called as parental thoughts in the brain. That is one ring. Second ring is adultery talk. Oh, if you're doing like this, even I will do that. If you're hitting me, I'll also hit. That is called as adult ring. Attitude comes from this adult ring also. Next is kiddish. The third ring is called as child or kiddish. Oh, you're doing a do your headache. Why should I do? I'll be very kiddish. I'll cut jokes every time. And I'll be sportive. It is not only kiddish. Kiddish has got more capabilities. So whenever you think of attitude, whenever you speak, whenever you want to carry this attitude, carry this attitude from three rings. Either your thought should be from parental guidance or adultery or child. If you have any other ring, transactional analysis, TA, there is an organization in the world, they will give you a huge prize to you. So far, nobody has found out that TA has got the fourth ring. Okay? So have that transaction carry. Now, coming back, I have a few more slides which give you the technological end. So far, we were talking about brain and how to use the technology we'll talk now. Okay? How many of you have the skills? How many of you have the skills? Any, only few? Okay. How to identify your skills? You have to identify your skills. If you don't identify your skills, you cannot show up your credentials, you cannot build the career, or you cannot build the business. How to develop these particular skills using your brain? First of all, you should know where is your skills and where is the skills which you have to develop. Okay? So, how to discover your skills? There are many techniques available. You can use SWOT. What is SWOT? Strength, weakness, opportunities, threats. If you are not using on a daily life, you cannot fine tune your brain. This is offshore. And you have something called as psychometric assessment. Today, you go to any international organizations or any career building, they go with psychometric assessment. If you're not aware of this, Google it immediately. Psychometric assessment, there are a lot number of games available. There is a lot number of websites available. You can test yourself and find out how your brain works. Today, I saw many schools in Bangalore, because I'm from Bangalore, I can give that example. To understand how the kid, creativity or efforts or potentialities of the kid, we have many organizations in Bangalore who does psychometric assessment. They'll give you a document of 50 plus pages about your kid, which you will never know. Is your kid creative? He's having good skills, less skills, etc. This psychometric test will help you to build your career, not only career, build your personality. Psychometric test is one thing which you can measure your skills. Second is SWOT. We have already discussed about SWOT. Okay, let me talk about certifications because I'm into certifications, I'm into knowledge transfer. I'm a trainer, a software trainer since 20 years. So a couple of slides are there, a couple of information is there for you to share. Okay, first is, tell me one thing, world will believe on results or efforts? World will always believe in your results, not efforts. Okay, I can say, a woman can say, morning 4 o'clock I woke up, I prepared all the food for festival, and somebody is saying this food is not good. Yes or no? What is the use of getting up early morning, doing everything? The results is carried in that way. Okay, how many of you passed 10th standard here? Most of you? Okay, no kids in the hall. Okay. So, 
When you say that you have passed 10th standard, what does matter to the world? Your certificate. Correct? How did you pass the 10th standard? There are many paths. One is copy. You can copy, right? You can put efforts by reading. You can go to coaching class. You can self-study. You can do anything, but you have passed 10th standard. When an interviewer looks into your profile, he always looks into the results, correct? Will he look, will, will he ask how much efforts you put to finish 10th standard? Were you feeling well? Did you copy? Did you pay the fees? Which school? The first question is, the world will always, always, always believe in results. Efforts is for you. So, from today, make a promise, make a commitment that you will be result oriented. Do you agree? How many of you will promise with me? I will be result oriented. Only few, others are not interested. How many of you, okay, there are three types now. If you say like this, it is bottle. If you say like this, it is bottle. I don't drink, sorry. I drink only water. Okay, if you say like this, this is hand rising, not this. This is bottle. Okay, so my question was very simple. How many of you would like to be result oriented in this hall? Perfect. This is called as hand rising. Okay. So, be result oriented, but efforts are hidden. Nobody will know how much time Sachin Tandulkar played, how many times he didn't have food, how many times he got hittings from family members, how many times his friends cheated, backstabbed, how many times somebody hit, how many times he didn't get the opportunity. That is all immaterial. Did Sachin Tendulkar hit 100? He, did he become genius? Is the results. So world always believes on what? Results. Okay, now four simple slides for you to get certified. If you're interested, I'll continue with this. IT technology certifications, four, because there was a demand in the last impact. Yes, I would like to know something about IT certifications, information technology certification. How many of you are interested in this? Okay, good. So, I'd like to take four slides. Yeah, let's do one thing. Uh, who are interested, uh, they can sit down, remaining over lunch. That will be good because only few people are raising hand. Hello. The lunch is ready. You can have the lunch. And when you come back from lunch, take the book and come inside. Okay? Lunch is ready. And certification, war interest, they will listen. Yes. Okay. Shall I continue? Okay. Thank you. So, certification. As I mentioned, the world believes only on the results. How do you show the results to others? How do you show the results to the others? Through certification. Somebody should certify you. Okay, this is the certification which I have and then you can show it to the people around. Okay, so if you talk about IT certification, there are four classifications of IT certification. One is the hardware. How many of you know this? Okay, I'll tell you the scope of this particular certification. If you decide the career that I will go to the chip level service, servicing of the system, maintaining of the hardware, servicing of the hardware, if you have that interest, then you can do this certification. There are certifications like N+, you can make a note, N+, Competia, A+, these are the certifications. N+, Competia and a plus. How many of you are choosing to have software related certificate? Okay. The major condition for the software certifications is you have to build a logic. If you are good in logic, a logic capabilities, how to say yes, how to say no, how to write a piece of code, 
you can always go with the software certifications. The software certification consists uh, given by Microsoft in .NET or Oracle or different DB companies. Okay? You can choose those kind of certification. But priority is you need to have a logic. Networking. If you are interested in networking, you can always go with the certification like CCNA, CCNP, N plus and various other certifications in networking. Okay? Networking, you don't need logic, you need to have an experience. Finally, how many of you are creative here? Okay, if you are good in creative, choose multimedia as your certification. You have various products, so you have Maya, Houdini or different products for certifications in multimedia, you can always choose that. And whatever certification you choose, have that standard certifications like ITIL, PMP or various other standard certifications which will boost your existing technical certifications. So I have just given four certifications plus one standards, five different pool of certifications. Okay? So use your brain for the technology and the technology for brain, technology behind brain and the brain technology. Get certified. Again, I'm telling you, the world believes on the results, not your efforts. Have time for everything and have everything in time. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Naresh. So nice of you. You gave a lot of knowledge to all of our students. How to appreciate Naresh Garu? <clears throat> And the Duramunchi, Managurinchi, you want to be shall Chapranago Charo, Naresh Bob Garik, Maraksari, Danyavadal Talia Strano, Impact Vizag Team Organizers, the JCs, Vasavi Clubs, Port Trust, all the students, Tarapuna Mikha Danyavadal Talia Strano, Naresh Garu, Vilunte Sandram Kodia certification Gurunchi, Naresh Garu. We will be able to do the certification in 20-25 minutes in the class.